Hi there, I'm going to show you a simple technique to uh, turn a path in Illustrator into kind of a ribbon by using the 3D extrude function. Uh, I've drawn out a path here using the spiral tool in the pen. I've joined them together and I have my path drawn. It's a one point stroke uh, path and it's in red. So I'm just going to go ahead, I'm going to go up under the effect menu down to 3D, extrude and bevel. I'm going to bring up the extrude and bevel options here. I'm going to turn on preview and instantly we can see how it's extruded this out. Uh, if you're not familiar with the 3D extrude tool, you should practice a little bit and play in it. There's a little cube up here that shows you the front face of your object. You can drag this around and pivot this cube. Uh, you can also come down here to extrude depth and if I change this to 100, we'll see how much it bumps up. And again, that's in points. Uh, I'm going to bring this back down to maybe 50 and I'll click away from it. Next thing I can do is I could add a bevel to it. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to keep a straight edge. And down here I can change my different shadings. Uh, plastic shading is the most realistic looking one. Down here I have a lighting feature. There's one light on the scene right now in the upper right. I'm going to come down to this little piece of paper and add another new light. And I can kind of move this around and you can see on the ribbon itself how it changes as I move this light source around. It's really nice. I'm going to add another light. I'm going to click here. Maybe I'll bring one down below here to light kind of the inside of this a little bit. Move it around. Give it some more depth and shadows. And I think that looks pretty good. You could have also controls over here to control the lighting uh, on a specific light, the different options. I'm going to leave it as is and I'm going to click OK. And that's really all I have to do. I'm going to zoom up on part of this ribbon so you can see a little bit closer up and because it is a vector piece of artwork it remains sharp and clear all the way as we zoom it up. Now you can see the little steps here possibly in the image and that's because of how much blending I have applied to it in the 3D. Now I'm going to click on Extrude and Bevel, turn on Preview and come down here to blend steps and I'm going to see if I can get rid of some of that banding. I'm going to bring this up, we'll say, to 100. And now you can see that banding's actually been removed from our object. I'm going to go ahead and click OK. A couple other things I'm going to change while I'm here is I'm going to go to my appearance panel. I'm going to click on the uh, stroke and I'm going to come over here and I'm going to change the weight so you can see how the width or the weight here will change the ribbon thickness and I'll bring it back down to 1. Uh, you can also go on the drop down menu and pick something below one point or you could type in whatever you want. Kind of a cool thing I found was I experimented around with some dashed lines. So here I have a dash of 12 points and I have a gap of 12 because I haven't put a number in here. Let's put a gap in here of 1 and see what happens. Very nice. Gives it kind of a unique look. Um, you can also add more dash numbers in here and gap numbers to make this, but it's pretty nice, I think, when you use this larger number and then a smaller gap to go in there and do that. Again, if you want to change something again, you go back to the appearance panel, you go to the stroke, and I can come over here and I can change the color. Let's change it to this green. So this is a little exercise on using the pen tool to draw a path and then use the 3D and extrude function to kind of turn it into a ribbon. One thing I want to mention before I leave here, because it is a path, you can go up to the direct select tool, click off and click on, and you can you can go in here and change you know the, the shape of the path and it's just going to reorient itself like the path would for the ribbon. So I can go in here and make some pretty funky things. So I think this is a pretty slick deal. Why don't you go ahead and try it and have a good time.